Now that both Sahana and Kannada have been established, what follows is a conversation between the movements of notes and phrases of these two ragas. Their individual aesthetic flavors come together to create a new sound that is familiar but yet distinct. Sahana X Kannada Ra na 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 na
What you just heard is a ragalapana. 
it was sahana it was kanada but it was also both and it was neither the idea from this comes from many different things i will just explain the thought process behind this um if you look at the olden day sahana and the history of it you will see that the usage of sadharana kandara was very prevalent this is one aspect of it and the second aspect of it is the intrigue of ragas with two variations of the same note like hamir kalyani for example that has two madhyamas or ragas that have two nishadas so that is more common than ragas that have two gandharas or two rishabhas or two devadas which are more rare apart from this when I mean, you look at the idea of creating ragas for me a raga is an exploration an expression of music of art yes there is grammar in each raga there are rules that you have to follow etc but there are some ragas that are beyond just grammar there are some ragas that don't necessarily follow a certain structure for example if you look at ragas that have been combined together like say mohana kalyani for example um it's very synthetic in nature it's extremely beautiful i am not um debating the beauty of something but i'm just talking about the process of how it is created if you look at mohana kalyani for example it's sarigapa dasa mohanam on the ascent sanidapa magarisa kalyani on the descent so we can say that it is created in a manner that has the swara in mind now what if we were to create ragas with phrases in it for example if suppose say like a sahana or a begada or a surati where you know it is a collection of phrases what if we were to just use the sound of certain phrases where the sound of those phrases don't necessarily go together yet in how we understand music today but still sound together as a package can we create a raga like that organically with phrases rather than using notes while i was looking into this um there were multiple examples of uh ragas like this for example especially in the hindustani tradition if you see they use many ragas which are called a combination of two ragas um sometimes you will find one raga in the satu pa region and the other raga in the patu sa region sometimes you will find the entry of the other raga only in certain specific places sometimes you will find the suggestion of the other raga very minutely but not too obvious but still changes the entire color of let's say the main raga like for example let's say the addition of that beautiful uh, pratimadhyama and paras in smarasundarangudi it doesn't sound alien at all it sounds very much part of that idea of paras so there are possibilities within the organic scales the organic ragas the organic notes the organic phrases that we already have today so was it possible to have two ideas of two separate melodies but bring them together as one picture that was basically the thought process behind this so is it possible for me to disconnect from both sahana and kannada but bring together their sound in a manner that creates a new sound you can call it a new raga you can just call it an amalgamation of two ragas it doesn't need to have a name you can just call it sahana kannada or you don't have to call it anything but it was just a very interesting process for me to rediscover the nuances and the movement of the notes between these two ragas when there is another reference of a sound that drives that particular note so the way we say the syllable the kind of um syllables we use whether it's ta or ri or the emphasis or the amount of modulation all of it changes when the reference point of the note that is coming afterwards or the phrase that is following it is not something that we are used to but something that is from and other sound that we are bringing into this sphere so there's a lot of interplay that happens between the two there's a lot of sharing there's a lot of give and take that gives rise to an entirely new um space and this is just my exploration and my attempt at presenting this space to you and i am still working on this i'm still figuring it out but i just thought i wanted to share it with all of you i hope you enjoyed it and i'm working on another combination ragam like this that i'm going to put out maybe in a couple of weeks time so if you have any guesses on what it is i'd be lovely to hear what two ragas you think might go well together thank you